All right, all week long, we've brought you our favorite restaurants in your neighborhood, and there are so many good ones to choose from. There really is. This Today, is it's viewer's choice. It's your choice. I was going to say, this has been such a fun series. So we asked you, and you told us that we just had to check out Sirocco Mediterranean Restaurant in Pembroke Pines. So we did. We sent CBS News Miami's Morgan Reiner on the appetizing assignment. We asked you in the community what your favorite restaurant is. So here I am in Pembroke Pines at Sirocco, a traditional Mediterranean restaurant with a backstory and flavors that do not disappoint. Step into Sirocco and you are transported to the Mediterranean. Warm woods, white bricks, metalwork, and an olive tree at the heart. Everything you see here is like literally uh, remind me of something home. Born in Beirut, Lebanon, Batul Yunus wanted Sirocco to feel like home and taste like it. I learned a lot of food from my mom, uh, from my mom and my grandma mostly. I grew up in my grandma's house and I had passion for food. In 2008, with the help of her brother and another partner, she left the world of banking and decided to pursue her passion. I figured why not take a chance and open a restaurant? And since I love food a lot. And Lebanese food is most mostly it's all grilling. Head chefs Jalal Dahabi and Samir Wada, both Lebanese, bring Batul's vision to life. This is our chicken tawu. The most popular dish is Sirocco Grill, which is you can get your beef kebab along with your shish tawu, which is chicken kebab, and the kafta kebab, which is a minced meat with some vegetable, offered with rice or french fries. It's really, really nice. The menu includes an assortment of salads. Freshly squeezed lemon juice and olive oil. Like fatouche and tabule. Very famous Lebanese salad. Falafel. And my personal favorite, this is one of their most popular dishes here. It's a fried kibbe and it's a meat based dish. And I'm assuming this is their tahini sauce yes. on the side, which I've tried already, which is amazing. And dip it right in. Wow. I don't know if you can see that, but it's different types of meat in here, right? Yes. That is amazing. Right when you sit down, you're given a basket of fresh bread made right in front of you. That is fresh. And a cocktail list made for the heart and the eyes. So this one is a real old fashioned, which I'm not going to drink because I am on the clock. But this one is a mocktail. They have a great assortment of them. And this one is their cucumber one. And no better way to end the meal than with another table full of dessert. What is inside of this one? It's a semolina and cheese. Ooh. Cheese and dessert in one, my heaven. Truly, truly, tremendously uh, appreciate all the support from the community and without them, we will, want, we will not be here and we will not be on the second restaurant in Dania Point. Reporting with a full heart and stomach in Pembroke Pines, Morgan Reiner, CBS News, Miami. And what the a, oil drizzle. I'm sold. I know. What a beautiful space, right? The food looked amazing. All right, so they're in studio now yep. just to let you know what's going on. We'll have them on the show at 7 a.m. when you watch us on the stream, so stay tuned for that. We got that and much more. And by the way, they're on TV 33 again. We're going to wrap up our Foodie Find series, and we hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. Mm -hmm. Of course, we get to eat it, but you know where to go now. We thank all the restaurants involved for allowing us to share their backstories with us. Hey, you know, speaking of sports, Food, Lisa There's Petrillo. This. Yeah, she's covering South Beach Wine and Food Festival this week, and we hope that you will join us for CBS News Miami Stream Special live from Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. That is tonight at 6 30.